Hello everyone, this is Dom and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to record and edit podcasts with great audio quality on your computer. We're going to go through all the things you'll need to get started recording your own podcast show from the microphone and the audio interface to the software. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to go and record your own podcast. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about the equipment you will need in order to record your podcast. The first thing, of course, is your computer. We also need a microphone, an audio interface, and very important, headphones. Now, in this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro, but it could have been a PC or a desktop computer just as easily. Today, in order to record my podcast, I'm going to use the gear that we can find on the UR22C recording pack, which includes the UR22C audio interface, the Steinberg STM01 condenser microphone, the Steinberg STH01 headphones, and of course the software that I'm going to show you later on. Cubase AI, WaveLab LE, and Cubase's LE. Now, of course, we're going to use the UR22C in order to record our microphone, and also in order to be able to hear our sound when we're editing through our headphones or our speakers. After we've connected the audio interface, the only thing we need to do is plug in our microphone. I'm going to use the first input on the UR22C. As you can see, we have two microphone preamps, preamp number one and a second preamp as well. These are really high quality deep pre preamps, which means that your voiceovers are going to sound really beautiful. And it also means that if you have a guest for your podcast, you can plug their microphone into input number two and then you can have a conversation and both inputs can be recorded at the same time. Of course, the next thing we need to do is plug our headphones into the headphone socket in front of the UR22C and we're pretty much ready to go. We need to do one more thing though. The STM01 is a condenser microphone and that means that we need to power it using phantom power. And we have a switch in the back of the UR22C and we can turn it on. And now we can see that the microphone is powered and we're good to go. Let me wear my headphones and we're going to switch to the sound of this microphone now. So now that we have connected our microphone, what we can do is we can go and get our levels. So I'm going to bring up my DSP Mix FX app. I'm going to click right here so I can have a nice view meter and I can aim around minus six or something like this. I don't want to overload my preamp, so I'm going to go to minus six. And of course, in the front of the UR22C, we have an LED indicating if you're clipping the preamp. So there are many ways to be notified if you're going too hot into your preamp. So somewhere around here, I think it should be fine. And now we can sculpt the sound even more. If I go back to my mixer, I can also activate a low cut filter like this. This will allow us to get a cleaner sound because this will cut off any unwanted low end frequencies, any air conditioning hum, or if you have any electrical appliances close to you, this will help you get a cleaner sound. And the other thing that we can do is we can add DSP effects to our voice. The very nice DSP effect that we have included in the UR22C that's really useful for podcasts is the channel strip. So if I activate it, I can bring it up and it looks like this. Basically what this plugin allows you to do is you can use this morphing dial right here and you can morph between different sounds for your voice. And as you can see, without even tweaking in detail the compression settings and the EQ settings, I can get a very nice sound very, very quickly. Now, of course, I can also do this manually. I can say I want to add a little bit of top end and maybe I want to add a little bit of low end and maybe I can even add a little bit more compression to my voice. This is going to save you a lot of time later on when you're editing because that means you don't have to apply compression and EQ into the software. You are running through this really nice high quality effects straight away. Now there's a little trick that you need to know. If you want to actually record those effects into your software, you need to activate the FX record button. And this will allow you to record these effects straight into your software. Now, in case you're wearing your headphones and you're listening to your microphone only on the left channel, just make sure that you press the mono button on the UR22C and this will sum the two preamps in the front in mono so that you can hear them on both left and right channels. Now, once we're ready to go, we can decide if we want to record with the effects or without the effects. 
And now we're ready to jump into our software. And in this case, I'm going to use WaveLab LE, which is included in the UR22C recording pack. Now, before we go ahead and record very quickly, I want to talk about pop filters. And this is a pop filter right here. What this allows us to do is to make sure that we avoid any plosives, consonants like P's and F's. Now the STM01 behaves really well with plosives, but I would always advise if you can to use a pop filter so that you're safe. So now that we've set up our sound, we're ready to jump into WaveLab LE and start recording. The first thing we need to do is make sure that WaveLab LE is set up correctly with our UR22C. And in order to do that, we need to go to File, we go Preferences, and then we go to our audio connections. So we need to make sure that on the Playback tab, we have our Steinberg UR22C selected as our audio interface. And we also have our output set up this way. And on the Recording tab, we also need to make sure that the Steinberg UR22C is our audio interface, and then we you need to make sure that the left input is set to UR22C input 1, which is this input right here, and the right input UR22C input 2, which is this one right there. So as you can see, I've labeled these inputs as mic 1 and mic 2. In case I have a guess, we can record both inputs at once. And we're good to go. Now all we need to do is hit the record button here in WaveLab. And as you can see, I already have my meters here going on. So now all I need to do is make sure I record with the correct format. I need just one channel, so I'm going to select mono here. If you were recording both channels, you could say I want to record two channels. And then we set up the sample rate bit depth, this will work just fine, hit OK, and now I can start recording. So I just need to hit record, and again, you can see that I'm peaking at minus 6. If I want, I can add a little bit more gain and peak at minus 3 or something like this. But it's always good to leave a little bit of headroom, you can always make up with this with normalization or with limiting later on, but if you have a peak, it's almost impossible to get rid of this. So, once we're done, let's go and hit record. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your music sound incredible. So stick around because we have a lot of stuff to go through. And there we go, now we have our audio recorded and we can start editing it. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit your podcasts in WaveLab. Now of course the first thing I want to do is I want to go here and cut this beginning. So I'm going to go like this, go to edit and I press my delete key and now I clean up the intro. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home. Now if you want to have like a faster pace you can also start cutting the breaths or you can reduce the level of the breaths. In this case I'm going to go to my breath here and I'm going to change the gain level a little bit maybe minus 6 dB and how you can make your music sound incredible. So there was a little bit of a gap there I might want to make it a little bit tighter so I can go like this Hit delete, done, incredible. So stick around because we have a lot of stuff to go through. And of course, maybe I want to get rid of this silence in the end, done. Now, of course, if I want to, I can have a nice fade out here and a nice fade in at the beginning so that we have a smoother intro and outro. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your music sound incredible. So stick around because we have a lot of stuff to go through. Of course there are quite a few things that you can do in WaveLab. For example we can go ahead and perform a 3D frequency analysis on the audio we just recorded. But now of course we can also start processing the audio. Let's say we want to make this a little bit louder. I can go to my plugins here and maybe I want to add a limiter which will make our podcast louder. So I can go like this, add a little bit of input. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your music sound. Now once we have a nice setting that we like we can go ahead and hit render. And now we have our podcast ready to go with a nice healthy level. Now there's another thing that you can do in WaveLab which is really really cool. We can go to file and create a new montage. 
which is a very unique thing with WaveLab. We can go create, create a new montage, and with WaveLab LE, we can have two tracks, which is incredibly useful if you're doing a podcast, because you can say, I want to have one track that's stereo. It always starts with one stereo track, and then I can add a mono track, which is going to be my voiceover. So once we do this, we can say, I want my voiceover to be in this track, so I can insert the audio file. And since we have it already open, I can bring it right here. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast, we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your music sound incredible. So now I can go ahead and add some music. I can drag a file from my system and here we go. Now we have also our music track. And the great thing is, of course, we can set the level of our music track. So I can go a little bit quieter when we start. Maybe I want to trim it. Maybe I can have it start around here and we can even perform a fade in. Maybe I want to start with the music and then introduce my voiceover later on. And maybe I want to adjust the level a little bit. And let's see. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast, we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your... So if the music is loud, I can pull it down a little bit and then maybe I want to add another point here and bring it up when my voiceover ends. So let's listen to this. Hello everyone and welcome back. On this podcast, we're going to talk about mixing and mastering at home and how you can make your music sound incredible. So stick around because we have a lot of stuff to go through. And the level of the music rises, of course, when my voiceover ends, as you can see right here. And I can choose how much the level we go up. So once we're happy with our podcast, we can just hit render. We can name the file and we can upload it to any service we like, like SoundCloud, in order to get it ready for distribution online. So there you go, guys. This is how you can start creating your own podcast with great audio quality. I hope you find this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.